So welcome back to lesson number 52 for Bioptimizers, Healing Health and High Performance, your complete guide to biological optimization. And today we're going to talk about air purification strategies. And if there's something that is really, really important and getting more and more important as we've got 7 billion people on the planet now is getting air purification into your life and thinking about what your strategy is around it. So you really need to take air quality control into your own hands because, you know, it starts first with where we started in the awesome formula, which is deep breathing. This is the first thing, the deep breathing is the simplest, fastest, easiest, most cost-effective way to purify the inside of your body, okay? Um, if you haven't started your deep breathing practice, I'm going to encourage you to go back to the first lesson and start practice them right away. But don't underestimate this one here because remember, breathing is as much, it's not just about getting oxygen in, it's about getting toxins out. So make sure you have that. Number two is looking at the purification. If you live inside a city, so if you're in a city, guess what? you're in probably high pollution. Now, if you're in a hot city, you're probably also doing air conditioning. These two combinations are very tough. Right now, we've been filming here in the desert and we're using a lot of air conditioning. I don't normally like air conditioning and you can hear sometimes my voice gets a little cracky and stuff because it's very, very dry here and I like to have a little bit of hydration. So if you're in a hot climate, you want to look at humidifiers. If you're in a, um, a, a really moist climate, like so for example, I'm here in the desert, and then you know Matt is out, in, he, he lives down in Panama, so he's in a, a high place. Bali is another place that I like. You need a dehumidifier. Those are some standards that you're looking at. And then there's now also air ionizers slash purifiers. And what these will do is they'll all remove certain amount of chemicals, toxins, dust particles. So number one, if you're in a city, a high pollution place, you really need to get your breathing down inside your house. You definitely, uh, depending... Remember this, we'll put this in um, dry and we'll put this in wet. So depending on your environment, this is one of the things that you'll probably want to select because you want the optimal level of hydration for your body in the air. The other thing is you, there's other units, like I, I, I remember I stayed in a place that had this kind of like swamp, we call it a swamp conditioning, air conditioner. I forget the exact name of it. You can check on the website. We'll put that up. Alternatives to typical air conditioning. And, and here, make sure you change your filters regularly. Uh, so many people don't do that. And you build up all kinds of weird funguses and bugs and bacteria and dust particles that can really be a problem. And so many people will change this and they'll notice big things. If you're in a very wet climate, you've got to watch out for fungus and mold that gets in the air. So dehumidifiers help with that and you've got to be really, really on top of this to make sure that you get the moisture, the excessive moisture out of your system or you can wind up with all sorts of fungus and mold based problems and these can be serious, serious health issues. And then at the highest level we have these kind of air ionizers and purifiers. What they do is they create uh, an electrical charge that starts changing in takes things like dust, mites, you know, other particles out of the out of this and purifies the air to create an electrically charged air. So ideally we'd all be living probably by the ocean with waves crashing in in a relatively sunny place. That's why California got so populated. It used to be just like a pristine place, but then all the cars came in and guess what? You now have high pollution environments. So if you live in a city you want to make sure that you take that into 
consideration and look at getting yourself an air purification system. And there's a lot of different people out there. And one thing that you always want to check is you want to check on the right strategy. You want to find an expert in your local area because what will happen is each lo loca local area will have a predisposition or there'll be certain tendencies in an area which there will be an expert in your area that can find that out. You can always check with the, 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 the site. Another thing I will encourage you, um, if you're not convinced just yet, is get out into nature. Boy, you know, people really don't know what it's like to have a deep, full breath of, uh, breath of fresh air until they've walked through maybe a forest. You know, like if you go up, in, especially in the northern hemisphere where you get up into like a pine forest or something and you, you breathe in the air or you're up into mountain air where it's very clean and very, you know, there's not a lot of, of pollution and stuff. It's really incredible how good that you feel. Um, not only does it increase your awareness and vitality, but your ability to see and how you feel is just really amplified. So if you can, get out in nature and do your deep breathing in nature, if at all possible. Let me tell you, getting good oxygen inside the body is great. Purify your body through deep breathing. Even if you're in the worst areas of the world, uh, you know, doing those double exhales that we talked about, the... <sighs> Those movements, those are very helpful for pushing air out. The, the slower breathing with moving the lymphatic system, jumping on the rebounder, and doing a what we call a lymphatic drainage where you're like... <sighs> this starts forcing some of those toxins that can come out of the air and gets it out of your system. And then every now and then, you can also go do a little bit of hyperbaric chambers. And that is loading up your body with oxygen and sometimes there's also ozone therapy where you can actually put ozone into your blood and take your blood out that's a whole advanced thing you, this has to be this is you can only do this in certain places but these are techniques to super oxygenate your your bloodstream and to take toxins out it's phenomenal for it you definitely want to get involved in getting the best air possible because let's face it breathing is the number one thing I mean, you can't, you, you can only live a few minutes without air. So get on top of it. Use these things. If you have questions, again, come back to the website. Ask us. That's what we're here to do. We're here to help you along your way and do our research. Let our team of research and coaches help you get to the next level. And, you know, we can all go there together. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you on the next one.